glad you're back and I Hi. I actually got here early today because I wanted to make sure <clears throat> that somebody uh -huh. had not messed with my stuff. I know, Javaka, we gotta stop doing y you that. You know, Jason, yes. I never did find my pen. What did you do with my pen? Um it went that way somewhere. All right. Well, when we were talking about giant problems, right? We all, giant, have, giant all have giant problems, problem. right? Mm -hmm. and, and so, what was the name of our story? It's about a guy named Moses, Baby Moses. It is not Baby Moses. We should talk about Baby Let's Moses. see what what has our story been about? It's about who? Who is it? It's Fred two Flintstone. people. No, oh. it's about David and Goliath. That's right. Oh yeah. And so, but I have a question. False. No, I haven't asked it yet. True. I have not asked it yet. Okay, ask it. All right. C. It's always C. Mr. Jason. Yes. How many of you have ever played sports, right? Yes. What was your favorite sport to play? Oh, I know. That's an easy one. Cotton candy eating contest. Is that a sport? I, I call it a sport because, I mean, you eat 15, okay. bu All right. 15 buckets of cotton candy. So... But, but, but whether it's a cotton eating contest uh -huh. or whatever it is. Or soccer. Or soccer. Or or have you ever been in a game yeah. against a team that you uh -huh. were not supposed to beat? You Ooh. know, it was that team. That you know the one. Team. The one that always beats everybody. They every game. The one that when they walk up, you're like, oh, not we have them. to play that we team. We play them in basketball and they're like nine feet oh, tall. Oh, we're going to lose. It. She's but this is good. the thing, Jason. What? You played that team. We played that team. And you won. We did what? You won. We won? You won the game. We won? You we won. won. We won. Hey, Fred, guess what? We won. 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 Are you, are you okay? No. Because we won. I don't know if Fred's okay. He's excited, too. Are you excited, Fred? Fred, are you okay? He, he looks tired. like he's wore out. He's like, I'm done. Yeah. But anyways... You weren't supposed to have a chance. Not supposed to win it. But you won. We won. And I was so excited. So excited. There is nothing like the thrill of victory. Victory. When you beat your giant opponent. Yes. So speaking of giants. Giants. Okay, uh huh. When we are brave enough to face our giants. Brave enough to face our giants. Our problems. Our problems. And we face them with courage. With you courage. know what? You inspire others. We so do? just like when we were playing the, the game against that team, that you know, team. And, and you're out there and you're like, okay, let's just go, let's play. And then yeah. all of a sudden someone scores and you're like, Whoa, Whoa. wait a minute, Whoa. we just scored, Whoa. we just scored. And then something happens. Yeah. Everybody starts like this. They start yeah. getting excited and excited? they're like, yeah, we can do the... it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, yeah. everybody starts playing harder. Yeah, playing harder. And then you score again. We score again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And the next thing you know. What? You've won the game. We won! We won, 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 we won. We won. We won. We won. We won, Brad. We won. Miss Christy, can you come get Fred? Because I, I'm, I'm afraid. Fred's fine. I am afraid for He's Mr. Excited. Fred. But anyways, uh -huh. so courage Guess is what? contagious. That's right. Uh -huh. And so we can be an example to those around us. Ooh. When we show them we have the courage to defeat our giants. Defeat our giants. They're thinking, man, if they can do it, I can do it I too. Can do it and too. then everybody is excited Everybody's and we excited. can do this thing. We can do this. So... So, our lesson today. Our lesson today is the bigger they are, yeah, the harder they fall. Whoa! So our power verse today is our the, power verse says the Lord is my strength. He is my strength and my song and my song and my song. So I can sing a song? No. Oh. He has become my victory. My victory. Psalm. Psalm? Yeah, Psalm. Hey, Psalm. I see you out okay, there. Okay, no, in the Bible. That, well, we psalm have a Psalm. Psalm is not old enough to be in the Bible, Miss Sherry. I know, but. You might be, but Psalm is not old enough to be in the Bible. Just saying. Mr. Jason. What? It's found in the book of the Bible called Psalm. Oh, Psalm. Okay. Psalm 118. 118. Dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. dot 14. Dot, 14. And our WhatsApp today is God will bring me the victory. God will bring me the victory. You're going to sing it. God will bring me the victory. And that's our what's up for and that's today. that's what's up.
To the double T L E S Skittles in the hizzy, and I'm ready to tell you what's up. Today, we are talking about winning the victory over our giants. So, every time somebody asks you what's up, you tell them, God will bring me the victory. God helps you win a victory, it can really fill you with confidence. I'm number one, not number two. I just beat the stuffing out of you. But you gotta remember that God's the one that brings the victory, so he gets the glory. So anytime, I mean anytime, somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. God will bring me the victory. And that's what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor, and I'm living for my savior. Skittles out, baby. Anytime a heart turns from darkness to light Anytime temptation comes and someone stands to fight Anytime somebody lives to serve and not be served I know, I know, I know, I know God is on the move
everybody. My name's Timothy. And I'm Michelle. And we're here to continue this series called Giant. Giant. Oh man, I was had it that time. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just practicing my slingshot. Whoa, don't point that thing at me. Don't worry, I'm a trained professional. Oh man, that's gonna cost you. It's all right, because this is for today's lesson. Oh, that's right. We're concluding the story of David and Goliath. I can't wait to hear what happens. Me either, but I'm a little worried. About David? No, about our friend Evan. That's right. When we left him last time, he was face to face with the school bully, Rusty. Man, I hope Evan didn't get squashed like a bug. Are you really that worried about him? Yeah, I'm worried about him. He owed me five bucks. Now I'll never get paid. Are you being serious? No, I'm just kidding. But do you know what happened between them? Well, Rusty was there pounding his fist, ready to fight Evan. All of Evan's friends were standing around yelling for him to punch Rusty's lights out. But Evan shocked everyone with what he did next. He turned into a ninja. I knew it. No, that's not what happened. All of a sudden, Evan dropped to his knees and began to pray for Rusty. Wait, what? He was supposed to punch the guy's lights out. That's what everyone thought he was going to do. But Evan was dependent on God, remember? Oh yeah, I forgot. Well, Rusty could hardly believe what he was seeing either. He started listening to what Evan was praying and he stood Evan up to his feet. Oh no, he didn't punch him, did he? Say goodbye to Evan's teeth. Calm down, that's not what happened either. Rusty asked Evan to help him become a Christian and that's exactly what Evan did. Wow, are you serious? That's amazing. It sure is. And when we depend on God's power, not only does he help us defeat our giant, but he also blesses us big time. Well, I can't wait to start our lesson and see how David defeated the giant Goliath. And don't forget, I'm Michelle. And I'm Timothy. And we'll see you next time on Giant. giant. Where'd it go? Hey guys, who is ready for the rest of the story of David and Goliath? I bet you are. So who remembers where we left off? Well, David decided that he was going to fight the giant Goliath. And even though that David was just a young boy, he knew he had to defeat Goliath. Because if he didn't, the Israelites would have to be the slaves of the Philistines forever. So if you remember from last time, King Saul tried to make David wear his armor. But David said that he had to face this giant on his own with God's help. So who remembers what kind of weapons that David chose? That's right, David grabbed his slingshot and five smooth stones, and he went out to meet Goliath. Now, Goliath was expecting to see an Israelite soldier coming out to fight him. But as David approached, he noticed that David was just a boy. He started screaming insults and saying horrible things. He was cursing David and cursing God. He even said, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks and rocks? I will feed you to the birds. Well, David was not going to let Goliath think that he was afraid. And suddenly, David yelled out some words that would be remembered for years to come. He said this, You come to me with spear and sword, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. Today, the Lord will conquer you, and I will kill you and cut your head off. Then the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. Wow, I bet that made Goliath pretty mad. What do you think? Well, suddenly, Goliath started moving toward David. He was big, and he was mean, and he was ready to kill David. But David surprised him. He didn't even wait a second. 
He took off and started running toward Goliath with his slingshot in his hand. He had his five smooth stones in his pouch. He started slinging that slingshot with a stone in it. And once he got up enough power and speed, he aimed it straight for Goliath and let the stone go. It was flying through the air just like a bullet until it smacked Goliath right between the eyes. I'm sure that Goliath was pretty shocked as he slammed to the ground. But wait, David wasn't finished with Goliath yet. He walked over to where he was laying and he took Goliath's own sword from him and he did just what he said he would do. He cut his head off. Wow, that is such an incredible story. I hope you guys enjoy the ending of that story. Even though it seemed impossible that David could win, God came through and gave David the victory over this huge giant in his life. And just like he did for David, he will do the same for you when you have giants in your life. Miss Christy, that was an awesome story. I'm just and glad I she am finally finished so it. So glad we finished that Me story. Because and that was the best part. It you know, was. the end of the story was the best part. You know my favorite so, part of it was? What? Is when he shot I, Mr. Jason. There's off. kids out there. Oh. Hi kids. Okay, okay. I didn't All right. talk about the blood and guts or anything like that. Mr. Jason. What? All right, let's go on. Okay. Uh, so we have been learning some incredible things about defeating our giants, yeah. right? And about God's amazing power. Amazing power. And, and so God is calling each of you to defeat your giants. Yes. And there's several lessons that we can learn several today lessons. from the ending of the story. So yes. the first thing, first thing, God brings the victory every time. Every time. So the odds of David defeating the giant. Uh-huh. We're pretty slim. We're Very talking slim. about a teenager mm -hmm. against a giant, right? Giant. But God brought him the victory anyways. Yes. And sometimes it may seem impossible. Impossible. But we need to remember, no matter how big your giant is. No how big your giant is. God is bigger. God's bigger. And when it comes to God, the bigger they are, the harder they, they Fall. Finally fall. And I figure Goliath fell pretty hard. So, Mr. Jason. Yeah. I'm going to tell a story on you. On me? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know if there will ever be a bloopers video. Yeah. But, but there are some bloopers that happens during mm -hmm. the recording. There's a few. And there was one the other day where I'm just sitting here talking and Mr. Jason is walking off stage and all I hear is thump, 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 thump. And it's really loud. Yeah. It is Mr. Jason falling back there yeah i fell in that corner over there he, he tripped and fell so, there's a corner over there so needless to stay we had to do a retake retake and so the bigger they ha are the harder they fall oh. and so another lesson we can learn today is courage is contagious courage is contagious so when you think about this story yeah think the, about the israel story. Light Army, they weren't Enjoy. willing to fight that giant. They were scaredy cats. Scaredy cats, scaredy cats. All but, they are are scaredy cats. They were. And they They're were hiding from, hiding from Goliath. He's hiding. And they were scared. I'm but so scared. then, Mr. Here, Jason. David, y'all fight him because you're you know, smaller than me. Mr. Jason. Yeah. But something happened. What? When David stood up. David stood up. And he showed courage. He showed courage. And he took on the giant. He took on a giant. And he and he cut his head off. And he and cut his head off. Oh, Mr. Jason. No, oh. No. But all of a sudden, yeah. something happened. What? They're like, well, wait a minute. Oh, they were like. The giant is gone. He's gone. He's gone. And then it was kind of like the game earlier. It's like, whoa, wait we a won. minute. We won. And they, they were like, oh, my goodness. And all of a sudden, it's like, yeah. yeah. And they picked up their swords. And they picked up their swords. chased the Philistines. They chased them. All the way back to where they came from. Yeah, they went back home. And, and the same thing can happen with you. When we stand up with courage, courage. and we face our giant we with the Lord's help, Others are going to say, whoa, wait a minute. They scored. They won. We can, we can defeat our giants if they can defeat theirs. And, yeah. they're, and it gives them courage. It gives them courage. Courage is contagious. It's contagious, Ms. Sherry. 
And the last thing is my victory will inspire others. It'll inspire other people. So when you defeat your giant, yes. others who are struggling with that same thing will be inspired. They think, wow, if God can help them defeat the giant of depression, then they can help me. That's right. If God can help them defeat their giant of sadness, yeah. then, then God can help me. He can help me. And, and, and they might say, hey, if God can help them defeat their giant of loneliness, yes. God can help me. Yes. Do you see what's happening? He can help you He and can me. help. That's right. Everybody. Everyone. And, and if God can help them defeat their giant of anger, anger. God can help, he can help you. me. Yes, he needs to help you. And That's God right. can do the same for you. So we have to be willing to take on our giants. You know what, Ms. Sherry? I'm going to take my giant on of that cord back there, and I'm not going to fall this okay. time. Okay, well, I'm going to listen yes, as I'm you not... walk off. I made it! Okay, he made it. And so when we take on our giants and we defeat them, then other people will have courage to defeat their giants. And so we can have the victory today. But the first thing we need to do to have victory is have Jesus in our hearts. So we're going to pray. So I want you to repeat after me. Let's close our eyes, bow our heads. Dear Jesus, I know that you want me to live in victory. I know that you are the Son of God. Come into my heart and forgive me of all my sins. I give you my life. I am claiming victory today. Help me to show others that they can live in victory too. In the name of Jesus, amen. Mr. Jason? Miss Jerry! Woo, I almost fell. Woo. Okay. It was so close. I'm just making sure you made it, okay? I made it. It is time to wrap it wrap up. Wrap it up. And so today. Today. We learned. We learned. That God brings victory every single time. Every single time. And if we show courage. Courage. It is contagious. It's contagious. And last, if I share my victory, it will inspire others. Then they will know that they can do it too. And so, yes. it comes to our challenge time. Our challenge. Okay. Our challenge. What challenge. is the challenge for okay. today? Our picture challenge we're going to do today is, is your parents take a picture of you with something that you have won. Maybe it's a trophy. Maybe or it's medal. a medal. Or maybe you just won a game of tic-tac-toe. You know, something hey. that you've won. All right. So, take a picture of something, one of your victories. You could have won an Easter egg. Yeah, you could get the prize Easter egg. egg, prize egg, yeah. an Easter bunny, something like that. Something you want. So that is a challenge for today, but yes. it is time. It's time for me to sing it a is, song? No. Oh, I have a good song, too. Okay. You ever heard that song, Victory in Jesus? It's just a good song. It goes with the lesson and everything. But Miss Christy said no. Uh, I so think parents, we're, just we're, sing it to your kids. If you don't know it, Google it. It's on, it's on the oh, internet somewhere. Oh, okay. Yep. Are you done? Uh, sure. That's your other challenge, okay. parents. Make your kids listen to that song. Victory in Jesus. It's an old, old song. It's a good one, though. It's an oldie, but a goodie. I thought you was done. Okay, I'm done. Okay. So from all of us. I don't so want to say bye. Okay. 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 From all of us at Covenant Kids, have a blessed week, and we will see you on Wednesday.